in building this brand, we realized what were the three things that we needed to launch, right? We needed product, we needed a store, effectively a website to sell it, um, and we needed to let people know that we existed. Um, so we pulled together uh, between the four of us $120,000. So we used that money initially to design a collection, build a relationship with the factory, get prototypes, review them, then place our first purchase order. Then we had to find a partner that could cut the lenses and insert them into the frames. Yes. Um, and thankfully, that was going to be a variable cost. So once somebody placed an order, we would be able to grab one of our frames yep. and then put in the prescription lenses and pay that partner to do that. Yep. Um, and then we had to build a website, sort of, we again, did it by hand and then worked with uh, my friend's younger brother to sort of design it and then hired um, uh, a guy to code the site. What was funny, um, this is sort of lessons that every entrepreneur has, but we initially went out to three development shops to build our website and we got bids back and one was half the price of the other two. So our thought was, oh, of course we're going with these guys. Um, and sometimes you get what you pay for. And we had to scrap all that work, lost that money uh, and ended up uh, hiring another person to actually build the website. Uh, and then the third thing about letting people know that we existed, we were building a fashion brand. Uh, right? Glasses, they're a fashion accessory. There's a whole fashion press, whether it's Vogue, GQ, um, you name it. Um, and it's an insider's game. So who's an insider? Well, a fashion publicist. Um, and we hired a fashion publicist uh, to help set up a bunch of meetings for us. Oh, wow. And we would go, we'd bring our first collection, meet with the editors and the writers. Um, and we were fortunate enough to get featured in Vogue and GQ. And this was February 2010. Um, and, uh, and the rest is history. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.